Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Wind Waker. We're already, f I was gonna say hot on the sea and then fresh on the road, but both of those don't really apply, I guess. Basically, I, as I said in the last episode, we're going to be sailing north now to the islands that we have surprisingly never actually visited yet. You would have expected it by now, but, you know, it's... Uh, I don't even know, actually. So, you don't need to know either. <laughs> um, actually, I think we might have visited one. I can't remember, this looks... Oh, I know this island. I know this island. We, we, I didn't visit here because I believe there, these islands, we actually couldn't do everything possible yet. I'm trying to adjust the microphone here. Um, where's that fish? We should get the fish one here. Oops. Fish? Fish? Let's stop so we don't go too far. Oh, he's on the other side. Um, I didn't actually stay here. Oh. I gotta get my hook shot. My grappling hook out. <laughs> Alright, let's do the charts and such. Um, as I'm trying to stay here... Oh, I can't match that up. Um, I didn't come here because there was a lot of... Like, they were just inaccessible, really. This... Where's... The island that I'm re oh, Okay, there it is. Looks like Diamond Island. That's actually the name of this island, is Diamond Step Isle. Yeah, I remember it. <laughs> Because it's always it's always one it's just that one island. It's actually required to come here. Um, it's and it just happens to be that one island that I always I forget the name until I see it and then I'm like, oh, that one. Can it be a heart piece? Yes, it actually was a heart piece for once. Three, awesome sauce. All right, all right. Now let's get our. Uh, what are you doing? Our information from the fish. And then we'll actually go into the island, because, you know, it has a grotto like every other island does. I'm really having a hard time with, with the microphone right now, like, it's just not working with me. I don't like your text. I think we only have to read it, like, five more times. Let's see. No, actually, only twice now. That's nice. That's actually really relieving, because I'm, like I said, sick of it. Oh, I've got some great information, Small Fry. Lucky you. If you use the treasure that's hidden on that island there, the thing that vanishes as soon as you get near it, it won't vanish anymore. You know, it. I'm talking about it, the thing that appears on nights when a wee bit of the right half of the moon is missing. Don't you know what I'm talking about? It! And that's all the info I've got to offer. Okay. Well, whatever it is, we're about to get the key to approaching it. And it... Is exciting, isn't it? Oh, oh, I missed, I missed the emphasis on that last sentence. That would have been awesome. Let me up. Ooh, there you go. Okay. Uh, I hope. What is that? That looks weird. Oh, it's just, just a tree stump. Settle down. Just a tree stump. <laughs> I don't know why it looked interesting. Like it had some sort of significance. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's going on? I can't look up there. That was weird. You see that? It like slammed my camera down. It's like, no, you shall not look. No, no, the current's taking me away. And there we go. Oops, I left a blue. How many do I have? If I have nine, I'll go down and kill him. I only have eight. Not worth my efforts. It did go around the tree, man. There we go. I didn't want to like go too overzealous with my attempt to get around the tree and jump off the edge. Is that Made me a sad panda. Alright, so Diamond Step Island. It is a pot maze puzzle. Yeah, no, not the drug you, for some of you in, in slightly immature people. Oh, he said pot. Oh, I can't stand people like that, sorry. But, no, it's all around these pots that we've seen scattered around in dungeons. Instead, these all connect to different ones, and you'll go back and forth, or back to the beginning, and... It's really terrible, and I can never remember the exact order, so if I get this on the first try, holy crap. I, that would be fantabular. Hey, look, there's a treasure chest. That would be nice if I got it right off the bat, but it's just a joy pendant. You know, that's what I thought. I... 
really, really hate joy pen and chests. Anyways, let's jump on down here, and I... Shoot, I don't remember which... There's three pots in here, and I don't remember which one I want. I could, you know, use the stick and set it on fire like I did before, but I might actually just blow it up. That sounds more fun. That was me being impatient. I bet you it's the one further away. I wonder how, if there's any way to tell. Uh, I bet you there is, like, a really sneaky way of telling, like, the way where the torches are or something like that. Hmm. Well, I'm back at the beginning, so that obviously, that idea doesn't seem to be very correct because I jumped in one near a torch and I'm at the beginning. Awesome. Now where am I? We have torch there, torch there. Wait, and there isn't a torch here. Let's let's see. You know, now I'm I'm curious. Maybe that's actually a thing. I never thought to try that before. All right, get rid of him. Let's let's try the one that doesn't have a torch beside it because this one doesn't, and we're making progress. And the beginning had two torches beside it. This is just how this is how I solve puzzles. You know, in my head. All right. Oh, there's two over there next to that torch. I didn't know that. Okay, well let's try this one anyways. If if this gets me somewhere, I think I'm on to something. Ooh, it is getting me somewhere. Oh, but there's two everywhere has a torch next to it now. Maybe Maybe not. Thought I was getting somewhere. Just, just don't even look at me. I'm gonna go with the one on the left. I don't know why I'm feeling I'm feeling like a lefty right now. I wish I was like am ambidextrous or something. That was a tough word for me. I'm a, actually just a right hand. You know, like everybody else. Go away. Holy crap, is this it? Is this my treasure already? There's no way I got it on like the second try. I had something going on there and then... It is! You got the ghost ship chart! That That's it? That's the description? Yeah, well, let's open it up. Take a look, where are you? Oh, I gotta go through all these now. Almost? Almost? Oh, there it is. Where's the ghost ship tonight? Oh, it's still daytime outside. But as you can see, it shows where... Uh... What... The shape of the island, and... When the ghost ship will be there, so... For where we are in the top right corner, the diamond shape... We're on Diamond Step Isle. If the moon tonight is missing a little bit of the right half, then it'll be here. If it's missing all of the right half, it'll be back on Bomb Island, and yeah, so on. And now that we have this chart, we can actually approach it and get on. I showed a quick clip during a video a long time ago, now I think, during side questing where I drove by or sailed past the, uh, the ghost ship. I didn't approach it because I knew I wouldn't be able to do anything and I didn't want to, you know, waste any time, obviously, but... Yeah, now we can actually approach it, get on it. Which is good because, let's pull our charts out again. Let's go left. Yeah, that was smart. Uh, where's it? Incredible chart. You can see on the right side of the map, it actually shows that there's a Triforce chart on the ghost ship. So, we're actually going to be, ha we're going to have to do that. Which is why it was necessary to come to this island. It has no that island has no other significance other than that, which is a little bit obscure, but uh, it's not something I can't get over. Now uh, I'll see you at the next destination. Cut out of like 30 seconds, but I'm gonna come back in here because I have found another treasure. It's so nice when I find treasures on these islands that we're going straight to because, <laughs> oh man, it's just ooh, I went way too far past that. I don't want to have to make a, what, what do I keep calling it, a montage video of all these charts, or getting all these. Wait, is it? Am I right there? No. It's a lot better if I can just pick them off while we're there. Where is it? Ah, okay. Yeah, what I'm trying to say is it's a lot easier if I can just get the treasures as I'm going around. It only takes a few seconds usually, of course. This one's taking way longer. Better have it right now. Yes, yes. Please be something good. Excuse me, I just had a tiny little burp there. Come on, heart piece? That would round out another heart container. 
Nope. But, the silver rupee is always nice, considering Tingle is going to charge us... How much total was it? It was, I think, just under 3,000? Or just over $3,000 total to decipher all eight Triforce maps? I'll get the fish later. For anybody who's interested right now, the name of this island is called Needles... I think... Needle Spire Island, I believe. Yeah, oh, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Oh, another one of those Deku trees are here. Awesome. That's a fun side quest to get around to eventually. Uh. Yeah, there's ice there, so I figured I'd just go ahead and shoot it. Sorry, didn't really explain that. Now, obviously, you're gonna have to do something with. C get out of my face! I'm trying to talk! Okay, anyways, obviously, you're gonna have to do something with, <laughs> with seagulls, because there's a seagull flying around, and there's birds flying around, and there's a nest at the top. And uh, that, and I also equipped the Hayoi pair, so you can pretty much, you know, get from all that. Something's going down. Uh, is there a mailbox on this island? I think there is. That's really weird. Nobody even lives here or near here. Anyways, let's get up as high as we can, and then we're just gonna do what we did on the other island with all the card rocks. Oh crap! We're just gonna fly right into it. Oh, one's nesting right on it. That's a bunch of bollocks. Get out of my way! Oh! oh I got intercepted. <sighs> Great, now we play the sniping game. I'm just gonna cut to if I decide to kill any of them or what. I almost had you there, bird. I haven't hit one. Ah! Oh, I bet you that one would have connected too. Just please, 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 please. Please, 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 just kill one. Oh, I only have one Hayori pair. But, I don't... I can't fucking hit them, so... There better be... If I fudge this up, there better be another beetle shop nearby, because I have no more pairs. <laughs> Simple as that. I don't know how that guy caught up with me so fast last time. I just gotta, like, sneak right up there. Let's do this. Let's do this, bird! Let's do this! Come on, man, don't let me down! Yes! Okay, you're on your own. Well, I just wasted, like, 30 arrows for nothing, but whatever. Open our chest. And hopefully, get a heart piece! Yes! Slight voice crack, but yeah! Okay, that makes... What, that'll be 16 heart pieces left to grab total? Yeah. You know, because four per heart container. Unless, I don't think there's any other full heart containers left to get. Huh. Anyways, let's jump on into this grotto because I feel like it needs to happen and stuff. Excuse me. Oh, another one already? Oh, I know this one. To the living. Light the six torches and dive to the sea floor. Guide the lost spirit of the boat that forever wanders in darkness. Huh, okay. I actually don't know what that means off the top of my head. Well, basically, yeah, light the six torches. This is what we do, is find the torches that are scattered around here and light them with fire arrows. I'm going to break some of these pots for arrows and magic. Alright, that was two. I... Ah, I remember you. This one right here is always a tricky one. Because depending on where you stand and start looking around, you might not see it. Uh, I know there's one up, s up high in the crow's nest up there. This one's tricky to hit and see. No, that was a bad shot. Better shot. And another one there. Oh, come on, man. That was your own fault. That wasn't any, even a difficult shot. Alright, that leaves one left. Oh, I think I see it. Hold on. Yeah, it's right there. Ah, oh, come on! I'm just by an inch. Come on. Come on. Yeah! See, now memory lets me remember where most of those are, but that would normally be difficult. Da -da -da, get some arrows, because, you know, I wasted them all. Get no more of those. Oh, those ones back there will give me arrows. Give me! An orange rupee! Oh. He was talking about diving down to the sea floor and guiding a lost ship or something but like that, but... You know, I guess I'll just take a hundred rupees instead. That's much better than 
having to find follow a chart to a hundred I'll take that any day I'll take it in stride or is that how it goes taking something in stride I think so huh. oh I should address even though it's like 15 minutes into this video right now is it um, 16 um, where's my boat dude where'd I park my boat oh he's over there um, in the last episode, I apologize for it being, I guess, pretty badly desynced. I didn't have, t I did all my cutting and stuff, but I didn't realize, I forgot to cut out the beginning gap of audio space, because I record my voice, and, oh, that's not what I want to do. No, I just want to go north, what am I doing? Um, I record my voice and the game on different tracks and such, obviously, with different programs, and I forgot to cut out and align the, uh, my voice with the game. So that's my fault, and I apologize. I rarely let it happen, but I guess that must have been a a big blunder for somebody to have noticed it. They said uh, three seconds or something. So I, I haven't been able to watch that video yet. Just since I've been a little bit busy again, but whatever. Anyways, as you might have remember seeing on the incredible chart, this guy was the. Uh, ooh, he looks like a, he's got a dark knight helmet shape for a ah, you're a friggin' pansy, man. You went down in three shots easy. He was marked on the incredible chart showing that he has a Triforce chart on him. So, we shoot him down. We drop the hook. Please grab it, thank you. And with that odd, ominous ball there, we're going to haul our treasure up. Look at the Link's eyes. He's like, whoa, I haven't seen this 26 times before. And it's a Triforce chart. Yep, I was right. Suck it. Uh, I'm going to ignore those two because I don't really have any reason to go for them right now. Uh, Three Eye Reef is next. Western Fairy Island, Rock Spire Isle is up there. I forgot to mark this down. Damn it, I'm going to do that. Hold on. Keep the shit, the shit. Fisher, 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 where are you? I found you! Come forth, come hither to my boat. That's right. You come right to me. For the second last time in your fish friggin' life. Oh, that feels good to know. What's up, buddy? Ah, small fry? Yeah, yeah, I got an annoying wall of text. I might actually lead, or lead, I actually read his entire last bit of text on the last island needed to mark down. Just because, you know, it's the last one. <laughs> You've seen the boats sailing around here with the real huge cannons, right, Fry? I bet you those things have their hulls packed with treasure. Of course, if you don't have a cannon yourself, there's no way you'll ever sink one of them. And that's all the info I've got to offer. You're real annoying. That's really weird. That's an odd thing to say, like... Uh, I get they're trying to say, hey, you can shoot things from your boat, and then haul up their treasure because, you know, the guy with the Triforce chart is in this sector, but I just feel like the way they introduce that. Like, if you're at this island at this point, or, well, yeah, if you're at this island at all, you have to have both those items and you have to have pretty much, you must have already done it at least once. In any case, I'll see you at the next place. These things from that or get it wrong or something is, oh, hey, look, there's treasure there. <laughs> because. It plays back a little bit later than it you'll, you guys will see, so. Ugh, oh, great. This is, well, we've passed it before. This is called the Islet of Steel. This place was also marked by uh, the incredible chart to have a Triforce chart on it. Now, before I go in there, there, this is probably a terrible time to be doing this now that I think about it. The treasure is shining up front. That, there you are. Am I lined up? Yeah, okay, this is good, this is good, this is good. Don't get shot, don't get shot, don't get shot! Okay, we're good. Now that guy's lodged himself in the doorway, so we have no choice but to shoot his ass down to get in. The re We don't have to kill everything at this island to get in, which is nice, because there's a lot of things guarding it. A silver rupee! Yeah, if you actually try to engage everything on this island, you're gonna have a hard time. Because there's cannons, there's cargo rocks, I think there's vocablins around up there, and obviously there's three cannon wheeled bastards right here. Get in! Get in! This 
This diamond thing is in the way. Get in! What? I glitched past it. It's fine. It's fine. There was never a problem. Oh. Right. That was unexciting. <laughs> I'm like, wind, carry me. And it's all like, hey, dude, you're in a cave. And then I was like, aww. Don't you love those stories where everybody says, like, 600 times? I occasionally do it. Because, but I do it because it gives me a few seconds to think about what I'm about to say. But when people say something along the lines of, I was like, and then he was like, and then he, like, they, they, they substitute it in for the word said, or replied with, or, or anything. When I tell a story, I want to be all like, oh, look, I just said it right there. I want to say something along the lines of, uh, I began the conversation with hello, and she replied with hey, with three Y's. That means she's obviously interested in the D, if you know what I mean. And by that, I mean the DS Game Boy I had in my hand. Yeah, yeah that's how my stories go. Is that a beetle shop ship? Nope, those are cannons. Those are cannon armed scoundrels. We're returning to this uh, island set that I never actually explored. I'll show you where we are. We're north of Great Fish Isle right now. Uh, I. Shoot, I did that, didn't I? I bet you I did. Uh, I stopped here to buy those ludicrously overpriced items from the expensive beetle shop ship right there, which I will stop at again. But I never actually explored the island, which I feel like I should have, obviously. I can't remember why I passed it up. I think I was just too focused on something else at the time, maybe. Oh, I bet you it was, uh... It's because I was doing a friggin' merch trading quest. Yeah, I bet you that was it. Anyways, let's see if he's got anything in here. Normal people items. We've modeled, or we've remodeled and reopened. Hoorah! And right now we're having a special grand reopening sale. Have a look around. They're quite cheap in bulk, and in this color, they match your boat. Yeah, I guess. You can't care. Oh, I thought I had to buy some. I, I'm full. Oh, I thought I still needed some. Sorry. I'm happy. Oh, you know what I need? I need bait. That's what I needed. Not bombs or crap. Get out of my way. All right, so I believe what you're supposed to do is get on this island, run up the ramp, and then time your bomb throws perfectly and explode those rocks, but this is much easier. And it's look at, look, look at this, how much more sense that makes than bothering to try anything else. And I had surprisingly good aim there. I know they were stationary rocks set out apart from everything else, but no, that wasn't that bad. I only missed like a bunch. Anyways, I hope I don't need my Deku leaf for anything because I like the item and all, but it's just a pain in the butt having to switch to it and then switch the wind direction and stuff. That's the only reason I don't really like the Deku Leaf sometimes, is when you're out in the overworld like this where the wind direction matters, and you're like, man, I really don't have to deal with switching the wind direction 600 times. And it's all like, lol, bro, I don't care, do it. What's going on in here? I smell bats. Am I right? No, actually, I don't think there's any bats around right now. Actually, is there a stick? I w would like to just use the stick. Yeah, okay. Does it, don't throw it, you tantrum child. There's torches. That's a lot of light I'm casting. Let's light these two torches. Holy shit! Wow! That was not necessary! You came to the wrong neighborhood, mother effer. Seriously, wow. That was a bit much. Is there enough keys to go around for everybody? Uh, I... Apparently, because there's, those ones aren't even coming to me. They're like, where's the, where's the bad guy at? Holy crap, there's still this many? Jeez, I thought I was only two. But here goes another 30 later. That's a lot of keys. How about you die? I like that idea. That's a good idea.
Well, that was violent and short and sweet. And well, I could have turned that into a sexual innuendo, but the moment I said the word violent, I was like, no, probably shouldn't go there. No, really shouldn't do that. But I brought it up anyway, so you know, you can think about that as as you will. Just know there's no truth to it. Now that I've wasted enough time being awkward, let's open this chest. I bet you it's a treasure chart. I will be a little bit sad if it's a treasure chart, because I have enough treasure charts, as it is. Oh, look at the mother humping treasure chart! When I open this chart, a treasure... Oh man, I read that all wrong. I read that all wrong. Let's... Well, that's where the ghost ship is. Should we try to go for that? I don't know if I'll be able to make it in time. I don't think I will. Anyways, treasure chart, where are you? Treasure chart, where are you? Treasure chart, there, there you are. Where's that next to now? I feel like... Not Stonewatcher Island. Where would that be next to? Come on. Work with me here. Sir, what? That's not it. I thought that was it for a second. You would be funny if it was the one. Oh, okay. Fire Mountain. I thought it was gonna be the one island right here that I haven't discovered, and I'm just sitting here looking all around like, they're worth it. <sighs> okay, so it says I had 38 charts there. I don't know how many there are total. I think like 42, or in other words, too many. But. Oh, lost my boundaries. But ba bearings, that's the boundaries. Whatever, I think I will. I'll see you guys in a minute when I figure it out. So, here I am, sitting outside Western Fairy Island. Ah, uh, that was weird. I hit the bottom and then hit it again and then suddenly found the treasure. Yeah, I came here in search of treasure. I figure I'm going to round off this episode with two more treasures because we're starting to really stack up on those. And then that'll be it, I believe. My steam just went off right now. It's like 10.30. And if it's who I think it is, I'm going to punch him in the face because I asked him or I s sent him a message freaking four hours ago. And unfortunately he doesn't know how to sleep like a normal person does. And he's friggin' turned incredibly nocturnal. And it's a pain in my butt because he's like, Let's play a video game right now. I'm reading it off the screen. Let's play a video game right now. And I'm like, hmm, well, you know, it's 10.30 and I'm doing my necessary recording. And you're harassing me to play a video game now. Instead of when I had free time five hours ago and you are sleeping. You have a pain in the butt. I love you to death, but you're a pain in the butt, friend. And you know it. Anyways, I'll see you at the next location. This music is getting so intense, and this guy just keeps trying and trying. Listen to it. That is scary. I gave him props. He's been trying since we left. Ah, uh, he gave up. Nope, he's coming back for round two. Uh, I believe there's a treasure here. Unless I read the maps wrong. In which case, that would be stupid and I would then see you at the next location. Ah, uh, this is a really weird angle. <laughs> oh, that's really weird. Oh, look at that. Look at that, that tilt. <laughs> Link, just fall out. Just fall out, man. Uh, see what I said? See what I said there? I said fall out, man, and not fall out, boy. Yeah. That was pretty clever. I'm going onward into the last location now. I shouldn't talk as much as I do, but I feel like talking still. Up to 40 minutes in the recording. I should be going to bed, but I'm going to keep playing after this because, you know what, I'm overtired and I'm talking a whole bunch. I haven't... I've gotten to that point where, like, I'm really tired all the time. I've, I've always been really tired all the time, but I'm, I've been at this point before and I'm getting there again where it actually hurts the blink because my eyes are exhausted. But I'm just... 
like physically exhausted, but I'm not mentally exhausted, so I don't want to sleep. Although I should, but I don't want to. You know why? Because I'm a rebel and I like living on edge. That's what I like. I like to live on edge. I'm so kidding right now. Oh my god, like that's, that's the biggest fib I've ever told. I live such a simple life. I do my best, but... I guess I, I guess... Maybe not that simple, but... I haven't opened this map? Oh, it's a Triforce chart. Maybe not that simple. <gasps> I do manage to get myself into a lot of problems all the time. But... That's because... That's just because. That's because it's not a good time to talk about that right now while I'm picking up this treasure. So let's pick this treasure up and end the episode off on hopefully a heart piece. Hopefully a heart piece. Hopefully a heart piece. Hopefully a heart piece. Come on, please. I just did a weird voice. Be a heart piece. Fudge. How? Like... I don't, I don't even know. Alright, well, I'm saving, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye-bye.